Hello, friends, enemies, and people who have not yet decided. It's currently 3 a.m. and I am trying to film an intro. Welcome to that intro. Do you want to hang things up on your wall? But is the cost of frames making you ball? Plastic frames crack and cardboard is flimsy. And those windshield wiper borders don't inspire whimsy. So ditch the frames that are making you mad and try this DIY to make your walls less sad. Today we are making uh, tapestry posters as an alternative to expensive frames or uh, wonky poster frames. If you've been following along, you know that we moved to New York from Texas last July. Pretty much everything is unpacked now though, but it has taken me a long time to get some stuff up on the walls. So all of the rooms in the house have just been these <laughs> plain white boxes that needs some jazzing up. But I've slowly got some stuff up on the walls. I don't know why literally everything is crooked. I also found this really cool local art store. It's like a small family-run business called Hyatt's. They are my new favorite store. <laughs> they have a lot of kind of hard to find art supplies, a lot of really niche things. Back off. They also have like a really cool gift section, I guess. Home decor kind of thing. What I'm trying to say is they have posters and I bought a bunch. I bought a bunch of posters like this one, this uh, vintage looking color theory one. And I don't want to spend a whole bunch of money on frames. What was I saying? I'm going to bed. So here's the tutorial. I'm linking the exact posters I have below in the description because they're only $5 from Hyatt's. But if you search for decorative wrap posters, you're going to find a ton of those vintage textbook illustration styled options out there. To turn them into vertical wall hangings or tapestry styled posters, you'll need wood dowels. Sometimes Michaels or craft stores have balsa wood dowels in the diorama or model sections, but I recommend going someplace like Home Depot for more variety. If you head to the baseboard trim or molding aisles, you're going to find all sorts of decorative options. I grabbed some regular square and rectangle dowels for the backs and only used the ornamental stuff for the fronts. Hardware or lumber stores can often make simple cuts for free or even just super cheap, like per cut. So if you don't have a saw of your own, that's no problem. Um, I used a drywall saw to cut mine. Don't be like me. Be safe. Do the right thing. A bit of sandpaper is also super helpful to help smooth any jagged edges or splintered things sticking out. I used a leftover scrap here to test a few paint colors. It's just acrylic, nothing super crazy. You can always water down acrylics to get a wood stain look without the wood stain prices if you're going for something a little bit more natural. Cut a length of yarn, thread, rope, cord, whatever that's the same length as your cut dowels. This part's important. You're going to want to tie the thread around each end of the dowel that's going to go on the back of the poster at the top, not the front. If you're using hot glue, you do have a very limited time to set the dowel on the glue. So have all your stuff ready, like extra glue gun sticks. Press down on a flat surface to help flatten out any glue lumps. And then repeat the glue process on the front of the poster with the painted decorative dowel. Line it up with the dowel on the back and then repeat this whole process both front and back for the bottom of the poster to help provide some weight. It's giving vintage, cottagecore, art major kind of hippie vibes. I feel like it's also more stylish than like a modern plastic poster frame. This DIY was really simple and fairly cheap because if I had to buy poster frames for each one of these posters, I easily would have spent three times the money. If you thought this video was helpful, please like the video and then consider subscribing for more DIY vibes. As always, thanks for watching and see y'all next time.